very warm welcome in the previous lecture we talked about some details of some of the ex existential risks of artificial intelligence and some of, some of the drawbacks and some safety measures which we should always keep in account when doing some research and development in the interdisciplinary field of artificial intelligence some of the things which we need to be aware of so but uh, don't worry we will not uh, make you more fearful to artificial intelligence and we'll be discussing some interesting details to the computational world of big data and machine learning and how is that taking place so let's witness it all what we are currently seeing is an actual life picture of real life neurons which have smeared onto a glass with a little bit of paint and then observed under a microscope. Well, this is a quite an interesting structure in the body and then lots of uh, different tails and branches to it which we can see right here and this is the main part there are some branches here is a branch here is another branch and here we can see the body the the structure body so the question would be why are we seeing this so the purpose of the whole purpose of machine learning is to mimic how the human brain really works and now in hope that we first need to understand how this human brain really works in order to be able to mimic this sort of experiment with computationally programmed neurons, artificial neurons, which will do the same processing task which our, which a part of our brain really does when it's processing information in real time. So we're going to create some amazing architecture if we are going to create some amazing archi architecture in the world of machine learning. Then we need to understand this neuron and the structure of the neuron, this body, what's the whole purpose behind each of their different uh, parts and how it all comes up and sums it all together. and then we see how we can uh, create tools around mimicking this network this information so these are some details on neurons we have discussed some of these details earlier as well that there are 10 billion neurons inside the brain and these many connections there won't be in the whole universe as well which NASA scientists say uh, it's a quite a controversial topic uh, for many uh, scientists and astronomers as well but that is for another course for sure but it's very interesting so there are some spatial uh, signals which are coming through the stimuli so here is a dendrite this is the nucleus the center the center of the nucleus here is an axon so dendrite is say sending some data uh, receiving some data say and axon is sending some data and how this all 
uh, the whole network is working uh, together and here we can see synapse we'll also be seeing what is what are synapses and neurotransmitters so some interesting neuroscience is involved and very interesting details and to help us understand who are we or who am I about the human brain and also there is 10 to the power of 6 billion synapses in the human brain so this is the most complex machinery which we are studying on the planet this is the most most complex machinery students if we see it from a more uh, biological perspective we'll come to this picture this is an actual picture of how this is constructed so here we can see there are dendrites uh, these long branches and axons are long tails which are coming to the electrical impulses Dendrites is the receiver of the signal so axon is sending the signal from here it's coming to this giant part and from here from this nucleus it is coming to this dendrite an axon is acting as a transmitter and there's a lot of details about uh, controversies about uh, the axon not touching the dendrites so the connection is never it's not a physical connection uh, many neuroscientists and ML scientists are very adamant about the fact that it doesn't touch it has been proven by science and research of CDC and many other independent and research organizations as well that the connection there is no physical connection the, the only connection between is the synapse and this is the synapse here we can see this is the synapse and there is the receptor these are neuroreceptors and here we can see the architecture of the biological neural networks so it is all the time basically creating new connections uh, rewiring itself you can say it's a complex most complex machinery to be precise and the computational power of this machinery depends upon its connectivity how good is the connectivity how good is the plasticity the strength of connections and new connections being formed and these are some of the computationally replicated neurons how can we then the computer science, the world of computer science started to replicate these neurons. So there is an, an input signal, here is a neuron, and here is an output. There is an activation function as well, but it's into post processing. Once it has a bias, then we'll come to a weight. and which will give us an output signal neuron so neuron is the heart of processing while the input signals are the inputs that it's getting 
itself this sort of mathematical computation will be giving us the same results with uh, which the artificial which the biological neuron does so we are replicating supreme intelligence into a uh, human made intelligence or which we refer to as students artificial intelligence so this is what will create the artificial neuron and the stimulus which we were talking about the input stimuli and there's the response it's, it's like a chemical reaction these are neurochemicals neurochemical impulses to be correct inside the brain which are reacting and that reaction is being mathematically repl replicated artificially to create a neuron an artificial neuron and there are different factors resting potential the output of neuron at a time period or time point x into uh, x times t and it also depends upon the connection and the total stimulus at certain point I hope you guys really enjoyed this lecture as much as I enjoy teaching it as well and I hope to see you in the next class where we discuss some things about artificial neural network models and the neural dynamics very interesting lectures coming up ahead guys and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Thank you and wishing you have a very happy learning.